Good morning. Welcome to Off Grid North Idaho. Today we're going to be playing with a 100 watt solar panel kit. We picked this up from Harbor Freight. We actually use a few of these around here for different isolated systems. But this one's all mine to pull apart, put together by myself, and try to use for my own purposes. So join me today as I put this together. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel so that you can see all our new videos. Okay, so we're unboxing this and opening it up. Inside you can see you've got four panels and they're all really well protected in the cardboard. I'm just going to be setting these all aside. We've also got instruction panel. Thank goodness. <laughs> and this little box here on the end is going to have all of your connectors and accessories. So let's open that up. We've got all of the cords. These are the cords that are going to be connecting your panels to each other and to your little controller. This is the controller. This is what's going to take it, the solar power in from the panels and then send it out to your battery and to your loads, which are the things that you're using it for. Clamps. These can go, here's another connector cable. These are gonna to go to your battery, and we're gonna go through all of this step by step. And these are some little brackets that help hold your panels together all in a nice row, keep your ducks in a row. And then here are the cool little accessories they give you to get you started, which are basically two LED light bulbs, yay! Right there. instruction booklet that comes with the Harbor Freight kit and I actually really like this. I've done this by myself once before and just went off of this set of instructions and they were clear enough for me to understand which is saying a lot. So I really like having these instructions. Make sure you find these, especially if you're a lady doing this on your own and go through these. They'll be helpful too. But also you can keep the video handy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we pull these out of the individual bags. One end has your connector cord on it, and the back has a whole lot of things that we're going to use right now. So we want to put these flat down on a surface so they're not going to get hurt. And then you're going to put the next one right by it. here in North Idaho for just a year now. We bought this place sight unseen. Couldn't wait to get out of where we were. Things changed a whole lot over the last few years and it was time to move. So we came up here with our four children. We've got five acres here, a 400 square foot one bedroom cabin. So that's been exciting, but we're getting used to everything and we're actually enjoying it. My husband works out of state four days a week. So a lot of the time it's just me and the kids up here and I'm having to learn to do a lot of things I've never done before. So if you're an older lady or even a younger lady and you want to see, know if you can do this, you can do this. You got to be willing to learn a lot of new things though. So. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect these together with those little braces I showed you. Got these right here. So we've got wing nuts and screws. Children, be quiet. And the braces. So we bring the screws through from the front. You've got two sets here because you're going to be connecting these four in a row and you don't want them to wiggle around. 
So you'll put your little screw through from the front on your two closest ones and take your connector bar. I'm poking this up, I was, with my finger from the front side. Put my connector bar on and then use a wing nut to hold it in place. Theoretically. There we go. Then I'll come over and catch this one as well. Get out another wing nut. And just get it started. I'm going to go through and do all four of these in a row and then come right back. So we've attached all our panels together. We've got four in a row here. They're 25 watts each to give us a total of 100 watts on our little system. And we've got our connector brackets at the top and the bottoms here. And those are going to be the tops because this is the side up here that has our connector cables. These also come with a little stand so that you can lean them up and then put them at a particular angle that you want. And I'll show that in a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna try standing them up. I'm gonna walk over here and try lifting them up as a unit. They're holding together pretty well. And I'm on this back side and I'll pull out these stands that I just showed you. Tilt them back. There we go. Okay, so we've got all our panels set up and we're ready to hook up to our battery and our connectors. My husband had this battery in our shop. He said I could use it for this. I've pulled it out and I've got it sitting on cardboard. So this is our little controller. And we're going to actually connect this controller to the battery. Then we'll connect the controller to the solar panels. The sunshine will come into the solar panels through these wires, which will then connect into the controller. If you have any loads associated, the solar will go through here into your light bulb or whatever. If you have excess solar power, it'll go and store inside your battery so you can use it later when the sun's not shining. So let's connect this. These little alligator clips are going to go down onto the terminals. This is a side post battery and you can just pull them apart a little more if you need to. Red is positive, black is negative. So you just clamp those on there. Ah! Should have checked that first. These are touching, which was not good when I hooked it up and you heard me screech when it sparked. 
and I could feel that it was very hot. <laughs> These are going to go into the bottom of this, and I should have checked that first. Big mistake. People do it. So we can see here on the front of my controller, the middle section right here shows a battery. So that's where these are going to go in. And I'm going to look at my instructions to see which is positive and which is negative. And I'm going to keep these separate when I put it down so I don't do that again. So I double check the instructions and if we can zoom in you'll see that each of these connectors, one of them has a little upward pointing triangle. That's for your positive. So the red connector and the red side of this is going to go into the one that has the up triangle on it. And these are screws up here, so I have to use a screwdriver and unscrew them enough to get my connector pushed in. So let's do that. Okay, so red is going to go into the one with the triangle on the top. I'm going to put it in there flat and screw down my connector. Then I'll put in my black, which is my negative. Hold it in there pretty firmly and flat. And now my display is starting to come up, so I know I'm getting some juice off of the battery at least. The battery was not totally dead. So I've got some little indicators on my little controller screen and I will explain those when we get to that part. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my controller to all of my solar panels. I'm going to set this down and get those connectors put together. So these are the ones that are going to connect to each of these and I think they call it a pigtail because then it's going to have one that comes off and connects to, wow, that's a long one, Woo! there it is, to the controller. So these four go off to each panel, this one goes to the controller. Okay, so here's my pigtail with my four ends. I'm just going to take these and they're going to connect like this. You just flop them opposite ways. There's a hole and a hole, and they will push together. And that's supposed to be a pretty nice weather tight connection. You've got twisty ties on here that would give you a lot more length. You might want to put these up on top of a building, depends on how you want to set it up. I'm just going to have this based on the ground. So I will leave them zip tied. Go to my next one. Line them up, push them together. Go to my third one. Pretty simple. See, even your grandma can do this. Because I'm a grandma. Last one. Push them together. So, and you can see we've got little blue lights on here. So even though it's overcast right now and we're totally facing the wrong direction, we're facing north, we're still getting enough light to activate our indicators. So that's pretty cool. Things are working here. So here's our other connector. This is going to go on the other end of that pigtail. Which is right here. And again, a push weatherproof push connect. Nice and simple. And let me double check the instructions. All right, so here's our controller and this says solar input. And it's got a lot of cute little sunshine rays. So this is our solar input. We plug it in. Now our little controller screen shows even more going on. So we are getting energy from the sun coming into our panels, coming through our connectors, that through that pigtail and going into our controller. I don't have anything drawing the power off right now, so it's all gonna go down through these connectors, through those wires, down into my battery. And it's storing up in my battery for me to use later. 
Okay, so we've got our solar panels connected to our controller. Our controller is connected to our battery. We're getting some enough sun, even though I'm totally facing the wrong direction. We're just gonna light up the light bulb to make sure we're working. So this comes with a little kit. These are handy. I've got these actually in my cabin. I've got them in my little lean-to where my washer and dryer are, and they're super handy. They've got an on-off toggle switch, and then they just plug in. So here you've got three plug-ins for DC output, direct current output. That's what this light bulb is. So I plug it in and I flip my switch, let's hope. Is it on? It's on. It's hard to tell in the sunshine, and it's that little blue LED light, but I think you can see it's working. So we're up and running. I'm gonna turn it back off. Unplug it. Remember to subscribe. There's a subscribe button below. Get Hit that bell so you get notified of every new video. And thank you for joining us here at Off Grid North Idaho. And then I'm gonna settle down with the instructions and we'll go over this control panel and learn more about what do all these pictures mean.